Hollywood is like glamorous, all of these dresses and makeup and hairstyles. For me, it was like, grow your body hairs, shave your hair, be as dirty as possible. We're gonna spray you with stinky smells and you're gonna act like a weird person, wild girl. I've watched board for the first time in my life when I joined the process. So I've watched it when I came to America the first day. Welcome to our country, okay? Uh, my name is Borat. Okay, okay, good, good. Well, I'm not used to that, but that's fine. And I freaked out because the bar was extremely high and Sasha is one of a kind. And I was like, hmm, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> is it gonna work out? <laughs> It, it was it was scary. I didn't know what I'm auditioning for for a long time. And then they flagged me to England where I've met Nancy Bishop before Sasha. And I was like, okay, she's a woman. She maybe is legit. Oh, but what if they're using her just to trick you even more? That's the secret weapon to kidnap people. And then maybe a month later, I arrived in Oklahoma and I was like, oh, so this is the American dream. And I said, it's so beautiful here and it's so warm. And like a week later, there was a tornado. <laughs> I'm gonna share one secret from the very first audition that I went to in England. Um, I think we kept the same skirt, which was quite extreme because I'm wearing the same skirt in every single scene. And sometimes the scenes are really dirty. In one scene, probably I had a real fish in my pocket example. <laughs> That's why we, we were sprayed with different smells and it was quite extreme. What can I do to make a man like me? You need a total makeover. The scene with Janice Jones, that was the hardest scene to stay in character because I spent like a full day with her. It wasn't like an hour or something. We started from the very early morning up until late at night and she's a pure angel. Every single time when I was keep repeating these crazy questions. Are you a man? No, I'm not a man. Sometimes even offensive things. She always keeps staying polite and not judgmental. I mean, I understand what you're saying, that your daddy told you that. Yes. But that's not the real world. And that has literally broke my heart because she was worried about this girl. You shouldn't want to be anybody else but yourself. I was like, God, I wish I was able to tell her, just hold her hand and tell her, don't worry. This is a piece of art, but it's gonna make um, an impact in the world. And you're gonna be an example of what kind of human beings we should be all like. Um, but of course, to make it work, I have to keep quiet. You got a big brain up there, so use it. I will think about it. Hey, that's all I want. And with the other scene as well, I mean, it's a completely different scene and completely different person. You're gonna do great, okay? <clears throat> but, I'm super excited and nervous. Well, you relax. I'll relax. You want me to ask you questions? <laughs> <laughs> it's been challenging because for me as an actor, it was my duty to have this scene and to make the material as usable as possible because we already had the scene with Janice. I had to be as much as convincing as possible because he's a lawyer. Lawyers are smart. Lawyers should catch lies like that. He used to be a prosecutor. He's the president's lawyer, former president. Before every single scene, I was having a small panic attack and Sasha told me, use it, just use it. She's also nervous and that probably helped me to not break a character. I really feel like Melania right now. Well, you're doing very well. As an actor, playing Tuta made me more ready to take the risk and enjoy the ride. Because if you think about it, your life is just that short and you have an option to jump from somewhere. Yes, you might fall, of course, but you might fall on the floor just walking. So if you jump, who knows? This is a cinema, you might start flying.